Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. You're all bullies. Did you know that? Sorry, I didn't mean to be the one to break it to you. More and more frequently, I get called a bully for what I do here on the internet, <laughs> which is rant about things I don't like. More and more often, I see uh, blogs on Tumblr that like to poke fun at Pictures, maybe of somebody's tattoo or some weird, crazy uh, pictures of people wearing ridiculous things. More and more I see those blog creators called bullies. More and more I see something along the lines of, you're a terrible person, fuck you, I hope you die because you're a bully. This is kind of stuff that happens mainly on the internet. Um, everybody seemingly is a bully. And while I feel that people have the potential to be a bully, um, the, the definition of it is getting relatively warped due to the more and more stories that are coming forth about bullying. I decided to go to the internet and looked up the definition of bully. Noun. One. A person who uses strength or power to harm or intimidate those who are weaker. Two, corned beef. I think the distinction here is that um, a bully uses what they have to get another person to do what they want through power and intimidation. This is interesting because I've been watching The Sopranos for like the past five days. Um, is what they do you know, shake down people to get money. Is that considered bullying? I think technically it is. But they just call it the mafia, so. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, actually, there is no mafia. I was totally kidding. <laughs> there is no mafia. <laughs> oh, shit. But that's the thing, isn't it? You know, kid in the lunch line says to a smaller kid, give me your lunch money or I'm going to pop you in the face. Oh, fisticuffs. Like... Okay, so that kid is being bullied because he is smaller or whatever. Okay, that's considered bullying. There are people in this country all over the fucking world that are legitimately being bullied. I'm not denying that at all. Somebody that says something that others disagree with, and they may say it in a harsh way, they may say it in a, in a mean, snarking way, is that bullying? No. What I don't get about people that play the bully card is it seems to be making everybody that d like has the fucking gall to say something that's disagreed with. Everybody that says something that's so like dissenting, that's considered bullying in some people's eyes. Like anybody that, anybody, any one of the people on the internet that has rants or, or gives an opinion about something, and if they say it in like a mean way, and oh my god, call somebody an asshole like once in a while, like that's not bullying. Because somebody disagrees with you, or because somebody said something in a way that you wouldn't say, I don't think you can necessarily jump to calling them a bully. For example, the blog that I see on Tumblr, somebody made a blog about uh, bad tattoos that they see, and they make little comments about the, the tattoos, and they're not, they're not nice comments, you know? But they're not like horrendously, horribly mean comments, you know? And people are saying, this is bordering on bullying. You cannot be saying this stuff. Yes, they can. They can say that if they choose to say that. You're having a joke. You're having a little bit of a laugh at somebody else's anonymous expense. That's not the worst fucking thing in the world. Are you going to call the Comedy Central roasts? Are you going to call that bullying because they're mean as shit to each other? No, because what do they say? It's all in good fun. You know what? Listen, sometimes jokes at your expense... They do sting, and some people don't like jokes at their expense. So if they say they don't like it, most of the time people are going to say, okay, sorry, my bad. You know, me, I like jokes at my expense. I think it's funny because there's so much to make fun of. I think it's funny. I don't know why. But everybody's felt the sting of a joke at your expense, okay? We've all felt that. 
And it sucks sometimes, but you get over it. That's not fucking bullying. Me saying my opinion about a band or a pop singer or anything like that, how is that bullying? How is, I'm not trying to get anybody to do anything. I'm just trying to say, listen, this is my thoughts that run through my head every so often. Okay, am I standing here with like a cane and like a top hat and I'm like, listen, this is my opinion. If you do not abide by what I say, you will be cast into the mortal coil of fire at my, on my dime. <laughs> I don't even know where there is a mortal coil of fire. A volcano? I would throw all of you into a volcano if you don't agree with me? What? I don't know. The whole bullying aspect ties into this, this message that everybody seems to want to spread. The message of love, not hate. You see this, this is not consistent just for one group. This is for a lot of things. People say, why do you have to be mean? Why do you have to be mean? Why can't you just be nice to everybody? I see this message of, of love instead. I see that just when somebody has a differing opinion <laughs> about something. Somebody says they don't like something. Why do you have to be mean? Why can't you, why can't you just not talk about it? Because it's not human nature to just not talk about things. Yeah, okay, I get the phrase like, you know, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say no nothing at all. All right, we're all, we're all fine with that. Sometimes though, people like to talk about things that bug them. That's not like the worst thing that a human can do. That's just human nature. You know, we're all, we're not nice people all the time. We're nice a lot of the time, but sometimes it's like, it's, Sometimes you need something to scoff at. Sometimes you feel like your humor comes from making fun of things, you know? You're not a bully and you're not stupid for doing that. You want to say what you th like think? Maybe about a certain YouTuber that tries to shut the haters up? <laughs> you want to say what you want to say about him? Go for it. I'm not stopping you. Just don't threaten his life. Don't, don't say I know where you live and I'm coming to get you because that's not okay. <laughs> That's just not okay, like in any, you know, moral quandary there. Now, yesterday I wrote a package about uh, support given to the victims of the Sandy Hook shooting. And when I was looking for elements, you know, a lot of people have done tremendous things. Like they, you know, organized toy drives. They raised money for the people, you know, like the tremendous things have been done. I didn't mention the fucking gunman once in that package, besides the point. I saw in one of the local packages that somebody took a screenshot of a Facebook page that said, spread love, not hate. Okay, in that scenario, when something so tragic happens and people want to reach out and spread love, that totally makes sense to me. I'm totally cool with that. When I see somebody on the internet that doesn't like what another person said, and they say, why don't you spread love, not hate? To me, that's a thinly veiled way of saying, why did you say something that I don't agree with? How could you do that? Are you kidding me? People are not always going to spread love. People are not always going to be nice. It's just the way we are wired. Sometimes people forget there's such a thing as respectfully disagreeing. I don't approve of that. Why? Well, for X, Y, Z and reasons. Z and reasons saying, fuck you, oh, how could you, you piece of shit, you're a bully, I will never be okay with, I will never, ever be okay with. If we looked at what we're writing, and we looked at our speech on the internet especially, because it is an extension of you, if you look at how you put your thoughts out there, I just wonder if people actually are grasping what they think versus typing so angrily in the moment or making a video angrily in the moment. And I've done that before. I've angrily made a video in the moment. We're not, we're infallible. We're not perfect people, you know? I just think, especially when it comes to the word bully, how people use it. I mean, there are people in this world that are actually being bullied and, and just some light snark on the internet that's just taking away 
from people that actually need help is what I'm what I think what I'm what I'm seeing more more so than not I guess I just have some scattered thoughts about this and I've had these scattered thoughts for a very long time because I think bully has become 2012's hater just the the only difference is that bullies actually exist while haters do not <laughs> I guess people just throw the word around and it would be nice I guess if people you know kind of developed what their thoughts are before just angrily exploding these words that you know it's just perpetuating a whole series of you don't agree with me so you're a terrible person is all I'm trying to say in this long garbled shit oh my god anyway I know I haven't been making videos lately but I've just been super busy with work it's the holiday season um I really hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I will be in Times Square for New Year's. Try to look for me on TV because everybody watches TV on New Year's, totally. <laughs> Merry Christmas, bitches.